ages ago, or so the stories tell, the power of alchemy ruled over the world of Weyard. Do I need to press A? Oh, I need to press A. Sorry. I thought it was auto scroll. Alchemy wrought the base elements of humanity into thriving civilizations, like lead into gold. But in time, man's dreams gave birth to untold strife. Dreams of endless riches, of eternal life, of dominion over all that lived. Dreams of conquest and war. These dreams would have torn the world apart if not for a few brave and wise men who sealed away the power of alchemy deep in Mount Aleph's soul sanctum. Prologue from Book 1 The town of Vale guarded the secret for many years, until Rexby and Jenna, whose parents died in a storm three years before, Disturbed the sanctum. E e excuse me, game? Y you're gonna just let Garrett get off scot free? He was there with us. He did just as much. Plus, the old man, I forgot his name for, for a moment. But those were there too. It's not what just us and Jenna. Come on. Getting scammed out here. Saturus and Minardi of the Mars clan followed them into the sanctum. With them traveled Jenna's brother, Felix, thought lost in that same tragic storm. Saturus and Minardi stole the elemental stars, the keys to breaking the seal on the power of alchemy, and kidnapped Jenna and the scholar Craden. That's right, Craden, he was there too. That was his name. If these four jewels were used to fire the elemental lighthouses, the seal on alchemy would be broken. Rexby and Garrett set out to stop Saturos, rescue their friends, and return the elemental stars to their home in Soul Sanctum. I, you know, I think Garrett wrote this synopsis, and he was like, the part where I basically set the things free and, and ruined things, I'm not gonna include that. The part where I look like a hero to go out on this rescue mission, that, that's where my name is gonna show up. I see, I see you, Garrett. I see what you're up to. They banded together with a young wind adept named Ivan and pursued Satras and Minardi to Emil, a winterlocked town near Mercury Lighthouse. There, they met the guardian of the lighthouse, a water adept named Mia. With her, they pursued Satras to the airy high atop Mercury Lighthouse. Raxby was too late to stop Satras from lighting the beacon and escaping. Again, Rexby chased him across Angara to the shores of Karagol Sea. And again, failed to stop him, just Rexby. Garrett doesn't mention his own failures here. I see how it is. Taking passage on the troubled ship, Rexby crossed the Karagol to Tolby. He spoke with Tolby's leader, a strange man named Bobby. Bobby entered Rexby in the Colosso as a test of his powers. Rexby's synergy won Colosso and earned him Bobby's trust. Bobby revealed a great secret to Rexby. Rexby's done so I gotta head out. Alright, well, uh, have a good rest of your day and uh, thank you. Hopefully stream should be good. Thanks to a mystic draught from their lost land of Lemuria, Bobby had lived for 150 years. He offered to help Rexby who then had a deep into Gondolin. In the town of Lelivero, Rexby learned that Saturus and Minardi had kidnapped a young girl named Sheba, whom they needed within the lighthouse. Rexby fought and defeated them atop the lighthouse, but he was too late. The beacon had been lit. A great cataclysm followed. Sheba fell into the sea, Felix jumped in to save her, but both were lost in the rolling waves. Jenna left the lighthouse to find them, but to no avail. Venus lighthouse is Gondor. Yeah, I can see that. 
We actually went to Lalivero, where Bobby asked him to find Lemuria and the remaining lighthouses. He gave Rexby a Lemurian ship to make the journey for the lost land. This chapter of our story begins with Jenna, just before the beacon on Venus Lighthouse is lit. Oh, interesting, so we're gonna play as Jenna rather than as Raxby. That, that seems pretty cool. Alright, but yeah, this was actually good to get a bit of a recap, because it was a month ago, I remember most of it, but still, like, getting a, like, a short couple of minute reminder of the story is always nice. Camelot presents Golden Sun, Book 2. Ooh, wow, that looks pretty. The Lost Age. Alright, well that's definitely Felix, Creighton, and Jenna. Now I know why this shortcut is here, because it always bothered me that it was here, but did practically nothing. Are you sure we should be leaving like this? Once we go down those stairs, we can't get back into the lighthouse. I would have liked to know that when I first entered here, you know? Would have been nice to have a post-it note. Maybe I should have stopped my brother. Jenna, is something troubling you? Just... What is it? What's wrong? I have a bad feeling. Rex, you made me lunch? Shamu, I'm busy streaming. I can't make you lunch. You'll have to make your own lunch. Did it well throughout of giving some of those things in-universe expansions? Definitely not all, though. Yeah. I have a bad feeling. Like, something terrible is going to happen. Oh, hello. How unlike you, Jenna. Surprised to see me? Uh, Alex, were you listening? Where's Felix? Why isn't he here with you? My brother? He left us. What can Felix possibly be thinking? He was worried about Chiba. He went to check on her. He was supposed to be leading you out of here. I thought you would have been far from this lighthouse by now. Why are you still here? We tried to stop Felix from going back up to the Airy. How like him. Once Felix gets an idea into his head, he rarely changes his mind. Alex. What were you talking about just now? What did you mean when you said, how unlike you? I was merely surprised to hear you expressing such concern, Jenna. Nevertheless, I'm impressed Felix went back. Don't change the subject, Alex. What did you mean? Are you saying I'm insensitive? That's what you were heard. Then I must have misspoken. Accept my apologies. That's kind of a non-apology. Like, if you heard the insult, then I apologize for you mishearing, essentially. No, no, you said that. You know damn well what you meant. Well, Jenna, I think Alex has said his piece on the matter. I'm not sure he has, Graydon. Who do you think you are, talking to me like that? I retract my statement, my dear. Forget all about it, Jenna. Just tell me about this feeling, Jenna. I'm just... I'm not sure we should be leaving Phoenix Lighthouse yet. What are you saying? You can't really mean to remain here. Alex is right, it's far too dangerous, Jenna. We would only hinder the others. 
the others. Did Rex say follow us to the lighthouse? It would seem so. He must be trying to stop Satros and Minardi. If Roberta goes back and finds Rexby, they're going to end up fighting. If the Phoenix Lighthouse has not been lit, yes, they will fight. Felix is a terribly rash young man, is he not? Why are boys such fools? He may be rash, but Felix is no fool. His good qualities outweigh his bad. That's why I think Rexby would understand if we just talked to him. Why didn't I think of this before now? Please, can't we go back up and talk to Rexby? I'm afraid that's not possible. Alex, why? He is an enemy. Rexby, an enemy? Our methods may differ, but you and I ultimately want the same thing. To light the elemental lighthouses. Rexby and his friends would prevent this from happening. So that makes them enemies? But fear not, they won't be able to defeat Satros and Minardi. Oh ho ho! Funny thing about that, buddy! So, Felix went back to the top of the lighthouse? Why do you seem so pleased, Alex? Why shouldn't I be? After all, the lighthouse will soon shine brightly once again. Alex, why do you want to see the beacon lit so badly? Oh, so it's my turn to answer questions, is it? Once. Alchemy was commonplace throughout this world. With its power, mankind worked wonders across the land. The lost age of man. I want to see that world restored once again, and... And what, Alex? We've spoken long enough already. Let us continue this another time. We should leave the lighthouse now before the beacon is fired. I concur. Let's meet at the location we agreed on and wait for Felix. Alright, Craig. Let's go. Alright, Venus Lighthouse. And we get to walk around. Uh, so, just to check quickly. Are audio levels okay? Because I think they should be. I did do a quick test, but I figured it doesn't hurt to ask. Uh... Alright, seems good. That's good to know. We didn't get any random encounters. Wait, that chest is back? I mean, I guess it's since we didn't fill in the password yet. Hello, seagulls. Okay, bye, seagulls. The chest is unrelated to password. So you can get that item twice, technically? Its status isn't transferred. Okay, well, there they are. Get them. Oh, that's a lot of people. You don't send us to stand guard here, but... I never thought we'd actually run into them. Scoundrels, what have you done with Shiba? Return her now, or you're really going to regret it. Uh, are there supposed to be more of them? Maybe they're just the first ones to come out. Great, that means we've got them outnumbered. We can probably take them, you think? Go fetch the other soldiers still stations in Lalibaro. Yes, sir. And we'll go tell the guys in the caves. Got it, boss. Hmm, they're calling for backup. How unfortunate. It looks like an ambush. Well, what should we do, Jenna? What do you mean? Look around. We'll have to fight them. 
Are you serious? Jenna, are you really prepared to fight these men? We don't have any other choice. We have to. Well then, allow me to shoulder some of your burden. Burden? We regroup along the road leading away from the Libero. Do you understand? Yep. You don't need to remind us, Alex. We know the place. Follow this road west and take the path down through the canyon to the cave. On the other side of that cave, you will find a small peninsula called Irejima. Should we be talking about our plan out loud with all of these guys listening in? Is that a smart idea? We meet there. Thankfully, only those workmen block your route. Unfortunately, they don't look too tough. Hello, we can hear you. So you could also hear all our plans. Great. That's just plain rude. Why don't the two of you escape and leave the Tolby soldiers to me? The two of us? Alone? You can use synergy, can't you, Jenna? Uh, yes? Then you'll be fine. We shall re reconvene at the peninsula. You think you can take on Toby's finest on your own, little man? I do not wish to inflict unnecessary bloodshed. Don't wish to? What's that supposed to mean? If you lay a hand on these two, I assure you that you will be made to regret it. By advancing, I assume you mean to fight. Permit me to strike the first blow. Oh, goodbye. He just got yeeted way out of this one. Oh, there goes number two. What was that? Oh, but whatever he did, it's out of our league. You guys deal with him until backup arrives. Oh, so you're next? Hey, no need to worry about us. We're not soldiers. We're not anybody. Seriously, there's no way we're going to face off against you. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, he even trips. How undignified and how shameful. Jenna, now's your chance. Go to Idejima and wait for me. I'm not finished with you yet. You mentioned backup from Lalivero? Let's go meet them together, shall we? Hey pal, when they get here, you'll really be in for it. Do you honestly believe that even a hundred of you could stop me? How amusing. This I must see. They're gone. Come on, Jenna. Let's be going. There's nothing standing in our way now. But... What is it now? Ah, uh, you're worried about hurting any innocents? Well, yeah, ideally we would avoid doing that. Well, just try to hold back when you're fighting. Okay. Off we go. Why do I gotta be the one to wait for backup? Uh, yeah, please, just let me go and... Hey! That scary guy with the blue hair is not with you. Great, now we'll see what I'm really made of. The chest you skipped in the lighthouse just contains an herb in this game. Okay. Well, I'm not worried about it. 
Oh wait, it's just us fighting? Graydon isn't gonna fight with us. Cool, cool. Right, uh, we have Flume and Flare, or Fume and Flare. Uh, let's try Fume. Well, that worked out really well. I'm actually curious. Uh, hold on. Can I check my status? So we're level 5. We're a flame user. Uh, we don't have any gins. We just have some basic equipment and some herbs. It's pretty, pretty alright, I guess. And then we have no usable synergy here. We can see it what we have here, I guess. But we saw that already. Okay. Um, so I guess we have to keep going west. It's them! Oh, there. Where did the blue hired guy go? Who cares? I can handle some girl and her grandpa. Again, just a single ruffian. I can just fume you. And that won't get rid of you. Yeah, definitely don't underestimate me. Alright, I'm guessing there's nothing really worth going down for. Not that way, Jenna. The meeting spot is down this way. Must climb down there and go into the cave. Oh, wait, never mind. That is where we need to go. Alright, that's where the ship is that we saw. So that's what we're actually going for now. Oh, that's a bunch of them. Ha, that was a good idea waiting here for him. You two aren't going anywhere. Except with us, back to Master Yodem. I remember now. I remember. It's the ship we found in the first game. So it's three ruffians this time. I'm gonna do a flare so we hit all three of them. That doesn't quite kill them though, so we take a bit of damage. That's fine, let's try another flare. Mm. Well, a third flare does need to kill. Wait, if we do a third flare, it doesn't even hit both of them. It's pretty annoying. We can just do regular attacks at least. I'm just gonna go in. Wait, are they still here? They are. Oh, bigger breakfast wouldn't have helped you, buddy. Um, we might actually get attacked, so maybe I should... Uh, I can probably live one more encounter before I need to heal. Oh, what is this? A punch ant? I mean, I love this sprite, but what? <laughs> My, that was invigorating. He wasn't too strong. I never knew fighting could be so fun. Ah, uh, but we'd better get on to the peninsula. D Creighton, you haven't done any fighting. What are you talking about? I'll take the PP recovery though. And then that's the ship. So we found it. This is the place, isn't it? Yeah, should be. Peninsula at the end of the road to the west. That's what he told us. This must be Idejuma. Hmm, Minardi said a ship would be here. We ought to see if we can find it. Have you have you literally looked just slightly past Jenna's shoulder? Jenna, it's over here! first glance it seems like a normal ship but there's something odd about it Crane, wait oh I swear you're like a kid with a new toy hmm. 
Hurry up in there. What's wrong? It's missing. Hmm? What are you talking about? The thingy that makes it go. What do you mean? What's so important about this thingy? The boat can't move without it. That Minardi, she tricked us. Tricked us? Yeah, by passing this dud boat off on us. There's no trick. If this boat is a dud, how did it get here in the first place? All right. It must have been that orb. What orb? Don't you remember that crystal Ceteris was carrying? The big black pearl thing? I'm certain he said he could move the ship with it. Jenna, great. There you are. I see you found the boat. We set sail as soon as the beacon has been fired, correct? Strange. What is it? The beacon... It hasn't been lit yet. You're right. Why is it taking so long? Why has my brother returned? They've done it, Jenna. They've lit the beacon. What's happening, Creighton? Why won't the ground stop shaking? Strange. I think it might actually be getting worse. I think the lighthouse is collapsing. Look, the ground around it is crumbling. Mercury lighthouse didn't react this way. What makes Venus different? The last tremor tore a rift in the Suhala Ranch. How are we going to get back to Gondwin now? Hidejima, it's drifting away from the mainland. But what will happen to us? And I guess that's how they get shipwrecked on the island. So that explains that. Oh, great, and how long will this island continue to drift? I don't know. I wish you could tell me. Sheesh, you're no help in times like this. Hey, I'm hungry. How can you even think about food? I wonder what happened to my brother. I can't be certain, but it looks like they lit the Phoenix beacon. Yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me that. That's how we wound up adrift at sea, right? My, aren't you cranky today, Jenna? Golden Sun and Long Prologues, name a more perfect duo. I mean, yeah, it is a pretty, pretty lengthy prologue, but... I feel like there's definitely games with longer prologues. And it's okay. In, in, in this case, I think it's more okay because it feels like such a continuation from the first game. So no one's gonna jump into this blind. Um, and in the first one, within the first hour, you get to the end of Soul Sanctum, maybe? Like, first hour or two, maybe? Well, I suppose you're just worried about Felix. Raxby and the others must have been at the lighthouse, too. I suspect you're right. I miss them. Raxby, Felix... Come with me. There's something I wish to show you. And there are Felix and Shiva. They, they're alive. They're really alive. What is this? Alex, what happened? I kind of want to know. But... Here we go, Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Man, I'm pretty excited, actually. This should be good. I thought Felix and Shiva were still inside the lighthouse. It's miraculous. Miracle or no, I'm just happy my brother is alive. 
What happened back there? Shiva? Oh. Thank the elements, she's awake. Shiva, are you alright? It's me, Jenna. Jenna? What happened? It seems you've drifted here with Felix. With Felix? Take your time. Do you, do you feel alright, Shiva? Where are we? Hidejima, we were all to meet here. But now the island is floating away from Gondolin. This island is moving? You know it must be very hard to believe, Shiva. When the Venus lighthouse was lit, a massive tremor tore us off the continent. The ground beneath the lighthouse roared. Roiled? Ro Is that roiled? R O I L E D? I've literally never heard of that word. Okay. The ground beneath the lighthouse roiled as though it might crumble. I remember now, and that's what carried us away from Gondolin. But what happened to you, Shiva? You were in the sea and Satros... Satros and Minardi are gone. Royal verb. Make a liquid turbid or muddy by disturbing the sediment. You know, sometimes I feel like reading a definition that makes me have to look up some more words. But I think from context I understand what it means at least. What do you mean? Another group came. They fought Cetras and Minardi and won. Was it Raxby? Raxby, yes. I think that's what they call him. Expect me to believe Rexby and his companions defeated Satros and Minardi? Have they really grown so powerful in such a short time? But how did you wind up in the sea? When the beacon was lit, the earthquake knocked me off the lighthouse tower. Then what's my brother doing here? He tried to save me from drowning. Felix jumped from the top of the lighthouse? Dear me! Felix, are you awake? Ah, Felix, you are awake! Brother... Are you sure you should be standing? You don't seem very surprised to find yourself on a floating island. Felix, once you've saved Shiba, you must have swum out here, correct? You must have seen that this island was floating when you were swimming. But what do we do now? I have no idea. Nobody knows what lies beyond the eastern sea. Unfortunately, I'm a student of alchemy, not geography. What? What is it, Alex? What's the matter? Can't you see it? Land? It's land! An island. It's a little big for an island. That's no island. It's a new continent. We're saved. So it would seem. Wait. What is it? We're going to pass north of the continent. She's right. Yeah, we may have to uh, do a swim. And that seems like a decently lengthy swim. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, Craven Felix, what are we going to do? Oh, this can't be good. What is it? It's a tidal wave. A tidal wave? The earthquake must have caused it. Oh my, it's coming right at us. That's going to make the swim a bit more complicated, too. Alex, how can you stay so calm at a time like this? Times like this? Where would be the good in panicking? 
Mommy washed away. Help. You want to check yourself for injuries. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. I waggle my arms a bit. Looks like the arms are still attached. That's a good start. Oh, legs too. Legs are working fine too. Yep, you're fine. I love that. That's hilarious. The real answer is because Alec is a, is a water adept and can teleport. Yeah, I guess that would uh, help him in a situation like that. Let's check on Jenna. What? What am I doing down here? Uh, I must have blacked out when the wave hit. Hey, we've hit land. That wave must have carried us here. What luck. We checked everyone else. Are they alright? Ah, they're fine. Great, let's go. Alright, Jenna is in my party. Uh, old man Craden. Nah, we're gonna check Shiva first. Ah. Mm. The wave. What happened to the tidal wave? I thought we were done for, but we're all fine. And we've run aground. The tidal wave turned out to be a stroke of luck. I wonder where we are. We should take a look around. Shiba joined your party. And hello TC, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Alright, we can check on uh, Graydon now. Oh Felix. Ouch. That was quite a blow. What happened when that wave hit? Felix, look. That wave carried us to the continent. We've hit solid land. Let's go, Felix. Alright, Craig has joined our party. Alright, Pertle, that's fine. I appreciate lurking too. Even though I'm not sure if you can hear this if you have sound off, but regardless, I appreciate it. Okay, so yeah, this is the island we were on, and it seems to have smashed into this island here. So let's see. We have Felix, Jenna, and Shiba actually in the party. So Felix is a squire, so. And then a flame user and a wind seer. So Eva, Shiba is basically going to be our new Ivan. You're basically going to be our new Garrett. And you're basically going to be our new Raxby. I guess. In a way. Uh, let's see. They all have some equipment. You actually have the Shaman's Rod right now. Which we can't equip. We could equip it on one of you. And get a nice upgrade. Let's, let's give it uh, to Jenna, and we're going to equip that. Alright, um, do we have any synergy we can use here? Okay, we have Whirlwind and Mind Read, and we have Cure, Retreat, and Move. Alright, looks pretty good. And what in battle ones do we have? You have Quake and Earthquake. You have the Fume and Flare that we saw. You have Whirlwind and Ray. Alright, looks good. Can we jump across this? We can't. By the way, where has Alex gone? He doesn't seem to be anywhere on the island. You don't think he set out on his own, do you? Ah, uh, seems like something to do. I guess there's no reason to look for him here. He might have gone to look for a ship. Alex wants a ship? Did you forget what he was saying? Uh, no. Then you know he wants to restore alchemy to the world. By lighting the four elemental lighthouses, he might just succeed. But why the ship? The remaining two lighthouses are unreachable by land. None remain to be lit across the eastern sea. So what should we... We must go to the Great Western Sea. The Western Sea. Is that where we're going? I, I guess so. Well said, Felix. And go there we shall. 
That's right, our parents' lives depend on it. What about you, Shiva? What do you mean? It's not going to be an easy trip. And there's no reason you should have to face that danger, right, Felix? I mean, we kidnapped you, essentially. And now, for the first time, you are free to go unless we want to force to kidnap you more. So I'm gonna say, yeah, you, you should be free to go. And you should know my reason for traveling with all of you, Felix. What do you mean, Shiva? What reason? It's my destiny. This quest is your destiny? And you couldn't tell us about this earlier? But how can we trust you when we don't know why you're with us? I'm sorry. But please, you have to take me. You must. You need me. I don't understand. Why exactly do we need you? You know that I'm an adept, don't you? I can control the wind, this Felix already knows. Oh yeah, I knew she was a wind adept. Saturus must have mentioned it atop the lighthouse, I see. He saw that I was a wind adept right away. They kidnapped me for my powers. They needed them on their journey. Oh yeah, they would have needed an alignment that complemented their own. They said they would need a wind adept in order to light Jupiter's beacon. Uh, of course, and I suspect we'll need your power there as well. So you see, you do need me. Alright, I guess I understand now. But you want to know what she meant by destiny too, don't you? Yeah, still curious. I wish we could read minds like Shiva, then we'd know. I'm sure she will tell us in her own time, won't you, Shiva? I think for now that we should simply trust you. I'm quite fast. Shall we get moving? Oh, old man, you and your stomach. Let's see where this takes us. Okay. Can we... Okay, that gives us a map. Let's actually take a quick look around. So... We are here. So we have this whole island to explore. Then there's another big chunk of island over here. There's some small islands. I'm not sure if we all ever visit those. There's another like huge continent here. Hit select to zoom out this map. Oh yeah, there we go. I was actually gonna say... Like, parts of it kind of reminded me of the real world map. But, yeah, not, not overly. But yeah, that, that's pretty cool. It's quite a bit to see. For now, though, we'll, we'll just walk and we'll see where things take us. Ah, there's a town. Dyla. Okay. Interesting music. You don't look familiar. Have you been to Dyla before? Nope. Welcome to Dyla, the northernmost town on the continent of Indra. The tidal wave left a lot of standing water in our village. Worst part is it's all salt water. Didn't it feel like all of Indra moved when that wave hit? Um, yes. Well, the whole continent got rammed into something. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of about that. Thank goodness for that mountain wrench to hit the north. If that wrench weren't here, we would have been washed away for sure. Are you okay, old man? <laughs> Born to suffer, okay. Alright, we can check barrels again. I'm probably not going to do that too much. Not until I get, like, reveal or something. You have a lot of time and nowhere to go? Uh, kind of. Visit the Kandor Kandorian Temple to see Master Poi. Okay, I mean, that sounds cool. What's over here? Mm. 
Can I get that? It won't let me jump. Hmm. That definitely looks like something we should be able to get at some point, though. I guess we'll check out some of these other buildings. At south, and when the road forks, take the path to the east. Take the road to the west, and you'll hit Kandorian Temple. Okay, so we want to go west first, because I'm kind of curious to check out the temple. We do need the boat, of course, but I don't think we're in a rush for it. Hmm, this guy likes the puddles. Anyone else say anything interesting here? Pirates? There's pirates? Hmm, I hope the road isn't destroyed because we kind of need that. Alright, it's just a window. Thought we could walk out for a second, but nope. Okay, there is a weapon shop. So I guess we I guess we can check very quickly. Um Okay, you don't have any artifacts, which are the good weapons that we would want. Uh we don't have a lot of money here. This, like, boosts it by three or four. I'm not too interested. This is just worse. Boosts it by four. Doesn't help at all. Boosts it by three. Ah, uh, I, I guess I can buy some stuff. This didn't help. Shield helps you a little bit. Okay, sure, you can have my padded gloves. I'm not gonna buy those, I guess. What about you? Oh, you have special weapons. Or you have you have the actual weapons, I, I see. Yeah, we can't afford that. That seems worse. Seems worse. Okay, I guess we're not really buying anything else. Ricky and Tavi. Hmm. Oh, is that little cat head? Like above the inn. That's so cute. I love that. That's adorable. I'll stay at the end, why not? Six coins is cheap enough to be okay with it. Alright, doesn't look like there's too much else left to do here. I guess you sell general products? Or nothing, I guess? That's fine too. Can I walk past here? I can't, so I have to walk all the way around. Because um, I feel like there's another building I haven't checked, or some stuff. Probably right, saw the beacon being lit.
I think we're gonna have to find this Ricky kid and uh, see what's going on with him. I think that's pretty much everything we can do in this town though for now, so we'll exit out. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a Ginny. Hey, you look like you already know a little about us, huh? Yep, I do. See, you know all about us, so you must be an addict. Even I know that. It looks like you're new around here, embarking on a dangerous journey in a strange land? I thought so. Well, I'm looking for my companions. We were parted when Mount Aleph erupted. Would you mind helping me find my companions? Come on, take me with you. I'll even lend you and your allies my powers. See, the more Jin you have with you, the more powerful your synergy becomes. I love the chat when you say no. Uh, I figured he was just gonna go in tutorial mode and I didn't really want to see that. But I guess it could have been funny too. All you have to do is set us and then unleash us in battle. You get our bunch of us, you'll have us all that power at your disposal. So what do you say? Will you be a pal and take me with you? Nah. Yeah, we'll take you. I'm so happy. Oh, you won't regret this, I promise. Okay, we get Venus Ginny Echo. While I'm here, would you like me to give you a quick explanation about Ginny? No, it's fine. I got it. Now we're pals forever. If you want to learn more about Jin, refer to help, okay? Yep, that's fine. Your friend should make sure you get the most out of his Jin. When he asked you to take him to test it. Oh, well, I could have done that, I guess. Oh well. Too late now. Attack with a double strike. Okay, that's pretty cool. Well, we'll set you for now. Um, so we can head east, we can head south. And then... There's a big golden place there, but I guess we had it at west first. Oh, there's another punch hand and a giant bat. There on the punch hand, and you can smack the giant bat. I guess I should experiment more with saying no to things, just to see what potentially funny dialogue options it gives. Is there anything south here? I'm gonna go across this bridge. Crash Rexy just hates scratch. This isn't Super Smash Girlfriends, keep it under wraps. I'm sorry, True Jam. I'll, 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 uh, I'll keep it more PG for you from here on out. Alright, let's see. Let's attack with a double strike. Um, how are you doing, Tree Gem? Okay, well that went smoothly. Did we still go down this path? Uh, there's nothing in that corner, so off to the right we go. Oh, I guess we just took the long way around because we could have just taken a shortcut going south. Oh well, we're, we're learning the lay of the land. Busy with paperwork, but good. Ah, okay. Well, hopefully you get through the paperwork in not too long. Right, we just have Venus. I'm not really worried about it. Actually, let's just... Just attack. And you can flare... And you can attack here. How goes the game? Goes quite well. We only just started this second one, but uh, it's been good so far. Stream going well too. So yeah, having a good time. Doing well. 